Athena Scope was the best service for streamers who wanted automatic highlights and clips of their gameplay, and it is now dead. Download your clips now. Let's talk about what this means and what your alternatives are. I'm Eepos Vox, the stream professor, and honestly, I'm a little heartbroken. Athena Scope quickly turned into one of my all-time favorite services for streamers. This is very sudden and out of nowhere. We were literally just talking to and working with the people over there for more backing track music integrations and new features, and they just announced that they're shutting down the service on April 5th, so you need to download all of your clips, highlights, and showcases that you want to preserve by then, or they'll be gone. This came as a shock to pretty much everyone, and we don't have a clear answer as to why it's happening. It almost smells like an acquisition, much how the paid access site Vessel was abruptly shut down when the team and the technology was acquired by Verizon, but this would typically come with a big announcement of said acquisition, whereas this seems like a downer rather than a good thing for them. Athena Scope was recently seeking to hire new engineers, was regularly posting feature updates. It seems like they may have been rug pulled by VC funding and just immediately is no longer able to afford to keep operating, which is honestly tragic. I hope everyone involved will be all right and can get solid positions elsewhere. For you, the user, what are your options? Obviously, download your clips now before they vanish if you want to keep them. But beyond that, you need to look into some alternative services. And thankfully, there are competitors. They're just not the exact same service. So for context, Athenascope was a service that would automatically scan your Twitch or YouTube VODs, or you could stream directly to them, and then use machine learning to automatically detect big game moments, such as killing sprees or goals in Rocket League, wins things like that, and then cut them out as clips, or make entire montages set to music tracks each week, much like our backing track rock tunes that we were integrating with them, and let you set up playlists to show as your B-Ray back screen or starting soon screens. The machine learning training seemed to take a while, so they their supported game catalog was kind of small, and they were slow to add new games, but the results were generally phenomenal, short of their obnoxious looking logo, and IMO, it was a service that could be worth a significant subscription cost to a lot of creators. By the way, my merch, awesome retro themed desk mats and pins and stickers, is on sale through April 6th. So pick it up while you can and get a free trial to Nebula while you're at it, eposvox.gg slash merch. If you download your existing clips and showcases and want to keep using them for the time being, that's easy. Put them in one folder, add a new VLC media source in the place of where your browser source you were using. You'll need to install VLC Media Player to get this source if you don't have it already and relaunch OBS. And then add the directory that you put your clips in and set it to Shuffle Playlist. Resize and fit as you normally did. But if you want to start using a competitor, here's a list. Still Series Moments, Insights, uh, Sizzle, Overwolf Outplayed, Combo, Powder.gg, Eclipse, uh, Metal.tv, th there's a couple others, or just clipping yourself using the OBS replay buffer or incentivizing your chat to clip for you, of course, those kinds of things. The good news is that there is, this is a pretty substantial list. There are a lot of competitors. The bad news is that they are not complete replacements. Most don't automatically create music synced montages, they don't automatically scan your Twitch VODs, that kind of thing. There's always, there, there's no direct inline replacement for Athenoscope right now. They also generally rely on OBS forks that stream directly to them, which conflicts with OBS being able to stream normally since game capture sources can't be hooked in multiple instances of OBS and it adds compositing and encoding load to your computer. But let's test a few out. Sizzle seems appealing, as it can scan your Twitch or YouTube VODs and automatically generates highlight reels, but it only supports a tiny handful of games. Fortnite, Apex Legends, League, and Warzone. Unfortunately, they don't provide an option to stream existing captures to them, like Athenoscope did, so I linked it with my test Twitch account so I could just feed it existing captures to a VOD. I streamed some Apex Legends uh, to my Twitch account, and it couldn't auto-detect the game from the VOD, despite the game being the category on Twitch, and then when it asked me to manually select it, Apex wasn't in the list. But then after spending another half hour submitting Warzone footage, the Apex option showed up. Welp. You refresh the feed to detect new VODs, and then assign the game, and wait for Sizzle to process your stream. However, more than... 12 hours at the time of writing my script, now 18 hours later, I still don't have any clips from these VODs. So join us at discord.gg slash vox, and I'll post clips as they come in. Insights.gg is less of a highlights focused service and more of like a gameplay review and analysis tool for esports teams and coaches. So that's what its focus is on. You make a team, invite people to review gameplays, that kind of thing. 
but they do have a direct video uploader, accept VOD links from video streaming sites, or provide a direct tool to record and log while you play. Unfortunately, it doesn't auto-generate highlights at all, and if you submit high bitrate captures from something like Shadowplay, the player just chugs and it can't really do anything. But I was able to glean that you can overlay maps and player icons from some games, including Smash, which is pretty cool, and mark specific parts of the video to remember to emphasize lots of great collaborative coaching tools here. Combo, on the other hand, is geared more towards creating vertical clips for TikTok and YouTube shorts and Instagram reels, that kind of thing. You import existing Twitch clips, although the auto importer just likes to not find any, so you have to manually feed it links, and then choose from a variety of templates to customize the layout, including moving your face cam to the top of the view for vertical view. This is pretty sweet, and you can even link up your YouTube or TikTok to send clips directly to there. Nice. For manual file uploads, you are super limited on file size. Both bigger files and auto editing after your stream ends is paid well to $12 per month or $120 per year. Paying once per year is a reasonable price here if you're someone who needs to regularly convert gaming clips on Twitch to TikToks, Reels, YouTube Shorts, what have you, especially with the auto edit capabilities. But again, this doesn't specifically replace what Athenoscope did. Powder.gg, which is a weird name, is also a weird service. They support a healthy amount of games and tout AI highlights detection, but the way they force you to use it is super limiting and uncomfortable. You install the Windows app and it hooks your game and then you can use a hotkey to save clips, which at some point the AI does something. It also auto detects videos in your videos folder, so it picks up Shadowplay clips, but there seems to be no way to analyze them for AI highlights and even a 400 megabyte clip is too big to upload for sharing. Also, to edit anything, you have to be pushed to their mobile app, which is just plain silly, in my opinion. If, if I have a gaming desktop, that's more than capable of editing video. So, so many extra steps and convoluted actions make me worried that they're just trying to get your data on as many devices as possible. However, once you do get set up on mobile, it can import clips from even Xbox and PlayStation apps, which that you save on the consoles themselves, which no other service I've looked at can do and is pretty impressive. Trying to link the app to my new gaming YouTube channel, Lost Saves, go watch my Call of Duty 4 in 2022 video over there, by the way. It could not find the channel. Uh, I've ran into this with a couple of the authentications on these websites. I don't understand it. It's 100% associated with the Google account I was logged into, but Powder just can't see it. Very odd. Playing a game, if you play in windowed mode, it captures your whole desktop instead of just hooking the game, despite be that being a dedicated option, which I had turned off. Also, it seems to be lacking in the kind of GPU prioritization that OBS gets, so all of the clips once action picked up in Apex Legends came out super low frame rate and choppy. Kind of disappointing. The AI just seems to find any moment that has combat, you know, high action scenarios rather than necessarily specific kills and will just cut off in the middle of combat. But it finds highlights automatically as you go or you can manually trigger the hotkey, which is neat since other services like Sizzle apparently take hours to comb through your VOD. Eclipse.gg, that's with a K by the way, lets you link up your Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook gaming and scans your VODs to find clips. This again, takes a few hours. The entire site, every experience, uh, from trying to register or link an account to just navigating through the pages here has been an incredibly slow experience. I'm assuming they have server issues or something right now. I was kind of bummed about that, but they do support more games than most other AI highlights options. But it's been about eight hours and I'm still at 0% and you only get one VOD analysis free at a time. The Steel Series app is an interesting one. They actually just added functionality that I've mentioned recently for it to basically act like voice meter, which is pretty crazy. We'll be covering that in the future. But for the moments capture option, it hooks your game in a way that conflicts with OBS to the extent that even installing the app while I had OBS recording footage for this video crashed OBS somehow. <laughs> but once you're going, you can capture any game with a keyboard shortcut. You have control over quality levels, frame rates, and so on. It organizes your files. However, as with Powder, it doesn't seem to hook your game itself, so windowed mode just shows your entire desktop. I was trying to use windowed mode for these since I'm testing on a PC with an ultra wide and trying to make things easy, but apps have not been very cooperative with windowed mode. This is very weird. The app does have game sense to detect in-game events, supporting CSGO, League, and Dota 2, which give you timeline indicators for deaths and kills and things like that. Weirdly, after I switched the capture to 60 FPS, it captured a cropped view of my screen, but still desktop capture and not window or game capture. Don't know what's going on there. Plan to use these with full screen. <laughs> but the timeline editor lets you add Giphy overlays, text, trim your clips, and export them to share. It's a pretty neat app. I'll probably cover it in a full video later on. Now, Metal.tv, which has been around a while, is real impressive. It supports a ton of games. It provides a lot of recording options, including high frame rate captures up to like 240 FPS, which is wild. Has neat editing tools for text, memes, sound effects, zooms, and blurs, and color effects, and you can add your own overlay files. 
It's like a full video editor, kind of. And it even has mobile capture support in the works, which is bonkers. Again, there's <laughs> seemingly zero actual AI clip making or montage making here, but it seems like an awesome service. I tested it out while playing some Splitgate and was super stoked with the general workflow and usability of making clips, naming them, editing them, and so on, and even auto-tagged the map I was playing, which is pretty neat. I think by far, Metal is the most complete package for creating and publishing game clips and highlights on the market right now. But my only complaint seems to be the lack of the tool to crop and edit for vertical like Combo has. If they get that going, ooh, Metal will be perfect. We'll see it again on the channel, however, but it's not an actual Athena scope replacement. Another service that came up on Twitter was Make Echoes, a paid service that lets you and your chat make clips on Twitch. It has a Stream Deck plugin and it can automatically cross post to Twitch and YouTube, upload to AWS or Dropbox, and so on. It seems pretty neat, but we'll leave that for the time being. Lastly, it's also worth noting that NVIDIA Shadowplay supports detecting multi-kills and specific moments in a game for auto clips in many games, including PUBG, Splitgate, and so on. And Intel's upcoming Arc Control app for their GPUs will as well, and I think AMD Relive does too, I'm not certain, but none of those have auto montage making, of course. Keep in mind that any of these tools, aside from the ones that directly analyze your Twitch VODs or whatever, will conflict with OBS or Shadowplay, either by directly conflicting with the game hook itself, or by adding extra encoding and compositing load to your system, so be careful with performance. Though some apps like Metal let you upload clips, so you can still stream them to Twitch or capture with Shadowplay or OBS Replay Buffer, and then edit with Metal anyway, which is pretty neat. Ultimately, I hate to say it, but there really isn't a true Athena scope replacement. It's a real bummer that they're shutting down so quickly and that there isn't really anyone offering the same kind of service. I think Sizzle and Eclipse are the closest, but thus far, Sizzle is taking forever with no input, whereas Athena scope at least gave you clips as it scanned the VOD, and Eclipse is still at 0%, a day later, basically, at this point, and generally slow as heck to even load the website. So hopefully they can get up to speed and live in Athena scope's position in the future, but for now, there's a gap in the market as of April 5th. I know this video was a bit rushed, but I really wanted to provide a somewhat comprehensive list of options and alternatives before the service ends, as you literally only have a few days. Uh, we'll look at some of these services more in depth in future videos. If you know any better alternatives or there are specific ones you want covered more, let us know on Discord. If you want to see how awesome Athena Scope was, check out this video here, or if you want to optimize your stream audio to sound better than 90% of Twitch or YouTube, check out this one here. Remember, be kind, rewind.